known everybody it's time for the Instagram Q and A. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it. I got my whole cool life on it. Being sharp, man, listen. All right, cool. So I posted a picture up on Instagram, this one, saying "Ask the Truth," and you guys responded with quite a few questions. And if I'm honest, I didn't expect so many questions. So let's get cracking. I'm gonna. It's gonna be like a like a speed Q and A. We're just gonna fly right through. All right. So let's have a look. Okay. Question number one. Dan Hawkins. How important is form over weight? I just put up a video explaining how important form over weight is. Both are important. You need to have a decent amount of stress on the muscle, but you also need to focus on form. So I would say start off with making sure your form is locked in tight. Everything is moving efficiently. Efficiency is the key. And then gradually increase the weight using progressive overload. And then you'll make your weights bigger with good form. And then you may gain. Question number two, Ash Fernandez. Why did you start lifting? I started lifting because I was scrawny. If you take a look at my 12 year transformation, I'll put the link. Yeah. I was always a skinny kid. I was always, always, always skinny. Didn't really like eating and I went to uni and I was like, man, I want girls. I want girls to like me. I want, I want them to notice me. I want them to notice that I'm attracted to them. So that's the reason I started lifting initially with girls and then it really took off when I started playing American football and started understanding um, the importance of kind of like functional strength and um, uh, agility and all that kind of stuff and transferable skills. Adam Morse, do you ever think about trying to compete to become Mr. Olympia? That would be a dream but there's only one problem there is that I have to start to compete with those kind of people. If you look at Ronnie Coleman, Sean Roden and all those types of people, they're massive. They are jacked to hell. So it's like, for me to compete with that, I'd need to jump on juice. I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. So my main prerogative is to motivate you guys. So that's what's on my agenda. Big Ben Theory lifts. How did you get the opportunity to, opportunity to play football in the US? I didn't actually play in the US, I played in Europe. I played in Finland for a team called the St. Yorki Crocodiles. Traveled around to Austria and other places in Europe, Oslo, and it was good fun. It was really good fun. It was a website called Europlayers. I just put up my stats and my highlight reel and stuff and then a few teams contacted me. I did want to get to America, but it is tough. It is really tough. Like I was meant to go to New York and also Canada for open tryouts, but at that time couldn't get the money together. So that dream was squished. And then I started getting multiple concussions. Hence the reason why I don't play anymore. What's my opinion on creatine and do you take it? Take a look at this picture. I actually told this guy to come off creatine. I think creatine is good, but it only works at specific points when you're you need that extra 5%. But most people don't need the extra 5% because they don't even have their diet in check and they're not even lifting right. When I coach people, I really try to get into their head that it is the lifting style and your diet that you need to correct before you start looking into supplements like creatine. Now here's some interesting questions. Jake C. Burgess. If you could have one superpower, what would it be and why? Mm. Mm. Uh, this one's hard. It's one superpower. One superpower. One superpower. I think I just have to go with my obsession, the Hulk. If I could grow into a big green monster when I'm angry and just kill shit and be hench all the time. No. Oh. I'm gonna come back to it. Okay. If I thought, if we thought of any names for the little one on the way, that's from Ash Fernandez as well. Yes, we're looking at the name Elijah. Elijah. Eli for sure. Sam Fit Five Two Eight. Who has been your biggest influence on your career and why? Um, I have different influences depending on what I'm doing and what kind of, what area it motivates. When I started playing American football, it was Reggie Bush and Brian Dawkins. When I'm looking into motivational stuff, it's Eric Thomas. General life stuff and general business stuff is my dad. Yeah, so it just depends on, you know, what 
It is. I hope that answers the question. Machine motivation. Do you think that bodybuild, do you think that with bodybuilding you'll ever be big enough? No, hell no. Actually, no, 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 no. let's go back, let's go back. Maybe not big enough, but I, I, I think I'll get to a point where I feel I'm big enough. I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I feel I'm complete, if that makes sense. So I'll, I'll always pick a fault that I need to work on, and that's the fun of bodybuilding. Strung out, when's the baby coming? Baby is coming in October. I'm excited, I'm excited, plus a little bit scared. Rob Brown PT, how should I go about getting sponsorship like yourself? You need to be different. You no, know, a lot of people just thought, oh, I need to have like 100,000 um, Instagram followers. Yeah, but if none of them actually talk to you, what's the damn point? A lot of people buy followers thinking that that's what the sponsors want to see, but the sponsors want to see interaction with um, the people that follow you. They want to see that you're bringing something different to the table, whether it's your physique, because any, anyone can get shredded. But what is unique about you compared to everyone else. If they were holding two people up, why would they say, oh yeah, I want, I want this guy over this guy? So that's why certain sponsorships, I don't, I don't get butt hurt over it. If I, if I don't get it, I'll approach it. If I don't get it, I don't get it. All it means that there's someone else that was slightly more unique. And this one is from Seb the Blade. Favorite my protein impact whey flavor and protein bar. The only whey impact that I've tried is the double chocolate brownie and another chocolate one. Need to try more to give a proper answer on that. Favourite protein bar? Um, oh! What was it called? 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 It's like a green logo crunch something. By the time I've upload this video I would have found out what it is and I'll put the picture here. Okay next one, Ash Fernandez again. Man you said enough questions. <laughs> I love it. Who's your favourite rapper past or present and why? Ooh, that's a good one. It would have to be Biggie. Notorious B.I.G. No matter what mood I'm in, put some Biggie on and I'm just chilled. Oh, his lyrical wordplay, his flow. Yeah, Biggie. Has to be Biggie. Puggled Prune. Been doing basic full body, three by five, three times a week for six months or so. What next? Try going into splits or push pull legs. Come away from the full body and start focusing on singular body parts and go for hyper hypertrophy or um, strength and kind of come out the five rep just to kind of build a bit more muscle as opposed to the power side of things. <laughs> and then Daniel Dumble um, replied, yoga. <laughs> Diesel Matt, do you work a nine to five and does your sponsorship cover the expenses? Whereas you don't need to work a nine to five and when the little man comes, we're gonna see big responsibilities. I do not work your typical nine to five. I run my own company. Fearless Academy is mine. It's my baby. Personal training, online coaching, getting ready for bodybuilding shows, all that kind of stuff is what I do. It, it doesn't, it's not even a nine to five, but it's more like a never sleep. <laughs> always up, always doing something. So that, that's what I've been doing and that's what I do to pay my bills. So sponsorship, they cover expenses when I travel with them and all that kind of stuff. But for me, I will never rely on sponsorships to take care of my bills because you don't know what the life of that sponsorship is gonna be, if that makes sense. Currently, I'm sponsored by Machine Fitness. Link in the description if you all want some of these tanks and all the other clothing. Uh, muscle food, fit my bag, and know what's up. Again, that might change tomorrow. If all of that changes, what do I have to fall back on? So I've created something that has more longevity, that, that, if that makes any more sense. How did you start in terms of a routine? Did you do bodybuilding styled workouts or did you build strength first? And that one's from JLay928. I was weak as shit. I couldn't even bench press on a machine. 25 kilo um, bench. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do a pull up. So it was just kind of like mastering the basic, basic exercises. And then after about two, three months of actually getting those basic exercises done, I then moved into body splits so splitting it into body parts and you know training my, my friend 
kind of like showed me the ropes and then we met bodybuilders. So we've always gone down that road. What? <laughs> Daniel Dumbbell. Would you rather get jacked off by Branch Warren or become a vegan for life? No! You can't ask that question. I love steak. I love chicken. Oh! I refuse to answer that one. I refuse to answer it. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 not doing it. Yes, vegan. But for him, he ain't, he ain't touching none of this. So yeah, I'll be a flipping vegan bastard. <laughs> what has been your biggest setback in your lifting career? Shoulder impingement, separated shoulder when I was playing American football. When I was playing American football, everyone knew me as the hard hitter, but also I did anything to take you down. Didn't care. Playing in Finland, there was a guy running up the sideline. I chased him. I came off with my feet in the air, straight into him, probably about this high off the ground, and then realized I have to land now. Didn't want to land in belly flop, so I put my arm out and boop, separate shoulder. Done for the season. Well, technically done for the season. I still played the whole season out. That set me back about seven months. Couldn't bench. Oh, and that question was from Don King. Next question, AJ Brooks. How did you become a legend and get sponsored by so many class brands like Machine Fitness and Muscle Food? Also, you never mentioned your calorie range pre-comp, which I'd like to know as I compete myself. Um, I explained the sponsorship thing earlier, be different. Let's look at the Arnold Classic. When I first started, I was about, I was at 3,000, just over 3,000 calories and my calories actually dropped to as low as 1,500. That eating ain't easy. And depending on your body type, depending on how you respond to different things, you have to play around with it and sometimes the calories do have to drop. Um, my performance didn't suffer, so that's the, main, that's the main thing. Make sure your performance is there, make sure your efficiency is there, but sometimes the calories just have to, have to go. Aaron ben Benion 99 couple of questions. What options did you pick in high school? What grades did you get? And also, what did you go on to do at um, college and uni? High school, so secondary school in the UK, I got nine A to C, A to C grades. I can't remember the exact grades, but French I failed. Flipping hated French and humanities. I just, I just didn't like it, so I didn't bother. But apart from that, I was all good. Then I went on to college and I did physics, math and design technology. Decent grades, not the best grades. And then I went to uni, University West of England in Bristol and I did motorsport engineering. How I became a PT, nobody knows. Andy Hillock, your top tip for stepping on stage, considering it, but personally don't feel I have the size to compete yet or would it be a great learning experience either way? It is a great learning experience, but and I emphasize the but. Too many people are now seeing it as fashionable. Oh, I have my coach. I have my six pack bag. I just joined the gym. Oh, I compete. It's now become a fashion. It was after 12 years of lifting for me that I stepped on stage. One, because I didn't even know about flipping the bodybuilding thing. I didn't think I was good enough for it. But I just, I, before I probably just didn't have the size. You need to just take the time to really build something that you're proud of and you feel is worthy of saying yes everyone look at me before you step on stage some people use it as like a kind of like something to tick off the bucket list so it's just something that they want to achieve that's fine but if you want to compete and you want to compete for a while take the time to build your physique and yeah just keep keep driving and also be patient be patient and be consistent Turner De Palma how many calories do you recommend each day for a 17 year old trying to bulk? That's too vague a question. Um, a lot of people inbox me with loads of these questions of what do you think I should do at this point? I don't know what your metabolism's like. I don't know what, how tall you are. I don't know how much you weigh. Um, I don't know what your lifting style is like. I don't know if you do cardio. I don't know if you play football on the weekends. There's so many variables that that question is impossible to answer with just that limited information. Hayden, I think it's Hayden R. Ellis, and he has asked, what car do I have? Currently I have a 
2002 plate, Audi A3 1.8. Nothing special, so yeah, there you go. Uh, Atta Shabazi, how, often, how frequently should you aim to increase the weight on an exercise to gauge improvements? Every damn session. Progressive overload, trust me, is the key to your gain. How much wood can a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? How much wood can a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. To answer the question, today. Anyway, that concludes the Instagram q and I might do this every week. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Were you happy with the answers? Do you like the video? Do you like the style of the video? If you like the style of the video, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Share it with your friends so they can also get some quality answers. And let me know if you want to see it every week. If you do, I'll get it done. But until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you later. Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I run it, I never front it, I got my own.